Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I am doing the CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is my Mini Cooper was running a little rough. Now I have a 2009 Mini Cooper Clubman S and you know they're known for basically having a lot of buildup in the uh, intake and in the uh, valves themselves they get all crusted with carbon and this is causes the motor to run rough and it to be inefficient and can cause more problems in the future so I went online and I found this product and I will leave a link for it but it seemed to work pretty well now I also later on changed out my uh, fuel pump which helped out a lot also and I have another video on my channel that shows you how to change out the fuel pump but this is just to show you how to use this product because there's certain steps that you have to do in order to uh, make sure that this product works as well as possible I did see a improvement in horsepower and gas mileage I ended up having to change my fuel pump anyway because there were more problems with the Mini but this does help uh, and if you don't have a problem with the fuel pump, this would definitely help out with uh, rough running. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Let's go. I'm like, let's go play Minecraft. Can't keep my oars on my chest. I don't have diamonds no more. We're mining diamonds, you know. With minutes to switch your motorcycle. So the first thing you want to do is take your CRC spray, lift the hood, and then come over to where this hose clamp is. You have to loosen it, and that way you can get your straw underneath here so you can spray past your mass airflow sensor, which is right here. So you loosen it, you stick the straw underneath into the hose, and that will go directly into the turbo, which will spread throughout the motor. So quick tip here, you don't want to spray sideways with the can. I was just showing you how to stick it in and showing you what kind of quick bursts you need to utilize because you can't just keep on spraying. You will stall out your motor and it won't work very well. So you have to do quick bursts while a second person is revving up the engine. This is definitely a two person job. You have to have one person keep the engine around 2,000 RPMs to keep their engine running, otherwise you're going to stall out. So you have to keep spraying in bursts until the can is completely empty. It took me around 25 minutes to totally deplete the can. Now, keep in mind, you'll have to set everything back up the way it was, retighten everything, get the can out, and then you can rev your engine for the final setup. So now you just have to rev your engine, staying below 3500K and around 3000K, uh, and you have to do this three times, so one time, two times, and then three times. The third time of accelerating, then let it idle for one minute and then allow it to do a heat soak for one hour. Okay, so after you've let it heat soak for an hour, you basically just have to drive it at highway speed. So 60, 65 miles an hour for uh, about 10 minutes. And then you can drive it back home and let it sit for a little bit. So after a while, you want to like get a uh, oil change. You want to clean out the engine and get fresh oil in it because you don't want to leave this in there forever. So once you've done all the steps, just follow the can. Uh, if you want, you know, follow this video, hit pause, and then try it in those steps. I did find that it was quite helpful as far as it ran a little bit better, less rough. Now I ended up having to change my uh, fuel pump anyway but it did help and it did clean it up and i believe that it probably allows the valves to seat a little bit better uh, and that's probably why it didn't run as rough 
So, anyway, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it informational. If you did, please click like. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. And click that bell if you want to see future videos. Anyway, that's my video. I'm out of here. Later.